In the meantime, up next tonight, disturbing new details about the man arrested outside the D.C. home of former President Barack Obama. It's a story this team first told you about last night. You might remember that. Our right, Casey Nolan got his hands on some new court documents tonight. He is in the newsroom to walk us through several big updates. Casey. Yeah, so, so there is a security zone around former President Obama's home in Calorama, but we have learned the Secret Service actually arrested this man here before he crossed into that zone because it turns out the feds say he was a fugitive from justice on charges related to the January 6th attack on the Capitol. Take a closer look. Today, the judge unsealed the January 6th case against the 37 year old and prosecutors say this is him entering the Capitol with the mob and they say he also posted about it, admitting it. Now the charges he's facing for January 6th, those are all misdemeanors, but prosecutors say when he was picked up yesterday in a van near the Obamas, he had guns, 400 rounds of ammo, a machete, and according to CBS sources, potentially explosive chemicals. And prosecutors said in court today, Taranto recently did a live stream near a Maryland elementary school to send a quote shockwave to U.S. Rep. Jamie Raskin. Okay, well, we're trying to learn more about that, exactly what school they're talking about. But prosecutors say Taranto has been in D.C. living out of his van near the D.C. jail where some of the January 6th defendants are being held and where there are protests almost nightly there. One of those protesters told CBS earlier this month Taranto was asked to leave the protest for some kind of an issue he had with his fellow protesters. We're not sure what that was. Prosecutors argued he is a flight risk. The judge agreed. He even said he is concerned about Taranto's mental stability, and he ordered that he be held until his next hearing, though, which is next Wednesday. Yeah, based on these allegations, it sounds like he needs a lot of help. Casey, thank you.